Jack, back to back wins. What a way to win a game. Yeah, it was a fantastic finish. Um, you know, obviously, when I thought the character when the equaliser was really good because, um, you know, I think we've got ourselves in a very scrappy, tight game, got ourselves ahead, and I didn't feel they were ever going to score. And then they pulled, you know, a 25 yarder out, and, and that doesn't half hurt, but I thought the character and uh, to keep going, stay on the front foot, and then uh, win it, win it like that was fantastic. Just how much does that say about your team? Because you know it was a blow to concede such a goal like that, but the defence and then the midfield and also Christian at the end just showed tremendous ability, didn't they? Yeah, I, I think the back four were excellent all day. I think um, you know Alex came in and, and made a debut. I thought he was he was excellent, outstanding. I'd even say, um, and it limited them to very little. So. Um, to you know, we had two tough games and we've had a bit of a bad run and we had the league leaders and then we had to come away to Yeovil and we've got six points. So I think, you know, that's a great return and um, we, we've dragged a lot of clubs in and around us and moved out the bottom two as we did by beating Luton. So a great, a great two weeks. How much composure did Christian show there in the final minute? That's why he's you know, one of the best in the league. Um, it was great composure when the keeper came out. Uh, he still had a lot to do, it took a while to go in, um, but it was a fantastic finish and that's a big moment in a, in a big, big game. Um, you know, let's not play this game down, it was a, ma a massive game, they, they would go seven points clear of us, but now it's one. And let's not forget Lewis Reed, who scored another fantastic goal and also set up Christian's goal. He had another fantastic game, didn't he? Top draw, Reedy. He's, he's, he's playing really well. I think he's progressing very well at the football club. Um, I see development in him. I see him getting better and better. And he, he's got a really bright future. And I'm, I'm pleased for him because he's an excellent professional. He works his, works his tail off, if you like, <laughs> in training. And uh, he wants to be better. He has the right character to be better. And every day is, is a one that he uses an opportunity to, to improve and um, that's the hallmark of a, of a player who's going to go places. In terms of your team selection today, there was one change. Uh, Drew Talbot missed out through injury. First of all, is he OK? Well, he did his hamstring in training Thursday. You know, he had a, he had a bit of time off with flu and a minute into training uh, felt his hamstring. had a scan yesterday. We hope it's not too serious, but uh, we'll see. And obviously, Alex Whitmore came in to the side at left-back, which might be a bit unfamiliar to him. Was it a difficult decision to put him there? No, he's played there quite a lot for Gateshead. He can go, you know, he's a centre-half really, but he has done, he had half a season as a full-back. Uh, he wasn't on his strong foot, but he, he's got two good feet. Um, he was commanding in the air. Um, and he's a very good character. I always go on about character, but he's a winner. He, he wants to do things well. He, he'll train properly every day. Every day is an opportunity to get better. I know I keep saying it, but it's not a given that, that people have that attitude and he's is the exact character that we want in this football club. In terms of the defence as well, Sid Nelson, Lawrence Wigai, Robbie Weir, hardly put a foot wrong, did they? Yeah, I mean, they were very close to back-to-back -to -back clean sheets as it went for, for a, a long-range effort, um, and that would have been great. So, um, but no, they put in some some good performances, and um, we spoke about you know being being one of the reasons why why this the club comes out of the bad run we were in, and I think every player's responded to that. Really, really took it on them shoulders that they all they are, they can affect results, and I think I think there's been two two good. I think Luton performance was excellent. I think today was slightly scrappy, but there was character there to come back and get a last minute winner away from home in a massive game is big. So what good chance do we have now, Stevenage next week, make it three wins in a row? That would be lovely. Um, we'll prepare well. Um, the week will be, um, you know, there's, there's, there's bits to work on. We'll dissect that game, see where we can get better. Um, you know, our last home performance was excellent. We need to really work hard to replicate that. 252 fans made the trip down, <coughs> gave us fantastic support yet again. Yeah, and we've had some tough trip, you know, a 96-minute goal at, you know, at Swindon and... Uh, I think everybody knew this was a big game for us and to give those fans who've made all that effort uh, an injury time winner is, is lovely, isn't it? It is indeed. And uh, you brought one player in this week with Alex coming in. Is there likely to be any more movements in and out of the club this week? Um, possibly, yes. And <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> just final thoughts. Can you just sum up what that win could do for the team? Well, it was, like I say, they'd have gone seven points clear with a home win and I think they fancied themselves to do that, but we've, we've battled well, um, scored two good goals and now we're a point behind them, so that's that's how big it is, seven points to one um, and a performance that, that we will we play poorly and won today and that's quite that's quite reassuring in a, in a, in a strange way because we proved out what we can do when we play well which is you know take apart the league leaders and now we can come away from home not play great and win and I think they're two good signs